I'm Amy Cherry. A B, that's the average ranking for Flagler County schools for the sixth year in a row. The data from the state shows the county placing among the top 25 districts in the state, down 28 from last year. So while their ranking stays flat, other districts have worsened. New Superintendent James Tager says the scores show the hard work of students and teachers, but also show room for improvement. Within the rankings, two Flagler schools got A's. They were Indian Trails Middle and Old Kings Elementary. Palm Harbor Academy got a D. This portion of WNZF Local News, a service of the Daytona Beach International Airport. Fly to the Big Apple in a New York Minute on JetBlue from the Daytona Beach International Airport. Your garbage collector isn't changing if you live in Palm Coast. Debbie Young has the details. The city has signed a new five-year contract with Waste Pro to provide services, continuing with two days of garbage pickup, one day of recycling, and one day of yard waste. Although rates for the service haven't increased for five years, the new contract does include a rate hike of $1.74, increasing the cost to $20.36 a month. That new rate is locked in for the length of the five-year contract. One difference with the new contract contract is that there is no longer a minimum number of hazardous waste items required for a pickup. If Palm Coast residents want to get rid of fluorescent bulbs, used motor oil, antifreeze, paints and supplies, pool and household chemicals, household cleaners, pesticides, fertilizer or batteries, they can call Waste Pro for a pickup and there's no extra charge. Just simply place your items at the front door or in front of your garage by 7 a.m. on the day of the pickup. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Debbie Young. New voting precinct boundaries are in place across Flagler County, Ben Smith reports. The Flagler County Elections Office yesterday announced some changes to voting precincts and locations for upcoming elections. Supervisor of Elections, Katie Lenhart. We've added two new polling locations and adjusted some of the boundaries to shift voter populations and balance those among the neighboring precincts. Lenhart says five boundaries shifted to achieve those balances. Any voters affected should receive a new voter information card in the mail by the end of July. You can also see those changes and find out your polling location by visiting flaglerelections.com. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Ben Smith. Edible citations are coming to Bunnell, and this is the kind of citation you want to get. The police department is launching a cupcake citation initiative for kids who behave in the neighborhood. Bunnell Police Chief Tom Foster. These have to be good kids. On the citation, it says recipe for citation, and that is be respectful, be honest, be responsible, be grateful, be kind. So if they meet that criteria, they're going to get a free cupcake. The effort is all about improving officers' relationships with children. What we're trying to do with this program is promote a positive one-on-one experience with a police officer. We want these young folks to see our officers as friends and mentors. We're also trying to help build bridges of trust, understanding, and And we feel it's an investment in our community. The department has teamed up with the Cupcake Cafe to provide the free treats. The incentive kicks off July 3rd. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Amy Cherry. Good morning. This is Brittany Kershaw with the Flagler County Sheriff's Office with the Daily Sheriff's Report. Deputies have responded to multiple crashes this week, many of which can be contributed to the afternoon showers and thunderstorms in Florida. The major crash sites have occurred on State Road 100 and on I-95. Rain creates low visibility and wet roads have contributed to many crashes in Flagler County. Some things to remember while driving in the rain. Don't speed. Drive at a speed that's appropriate for the conditions that you're driving in. Posted speed limits are for ideal conditions and drivers should slow down and allow more stopping distance if conditions are wet or if visibility is lessened. Avoid distracted driving behaviors including texting, talking on a cell phone, or eating or drinking, especially while driving through inclement weather. Keep hands on the wheel and eyes on the road. Do not turn on your hazards during rain as it can prevent the driver behind you from seeing your brake lights. Use of your hazard lights during the rain is in violation of Florida law. If it is raining, be sure to turn on your headlights for increased visibility for other drivers. Plan ahead when you know conditions may impact your travel. Allow more time to get to your destination safely. And remember, drivers are required by law to move over or slow down for emergency vehicles on the highway. Drive safely and arrive alive. Stay safe, Flagler County.